So this will be my last hacking video of Don't Fret for this version of the game. Apparently, according to Rocket, there's supposed to be an update coming this week, I think. Don't quote me on that. Just keep an eye out on Steam. Uh, so this will be my last time doing this version. But I did find some more stuff out of bounds and some other hacking stuff that I think you guys will find interesting. So I'm going to showcase those real quick. This is going to be a pretty short uh, hacking video, uh, out of bounds, off camera, whatever you want to call it. So first off, let's start with the uh, the main menu here it has a little bit more than I remembered. So I haven't figured out how to get rid of this menu, but I can still move the camera around. And what I noticed when I was moving the camera around is if I pan this way, what is that? What is that? <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to go take a look at that real quick. Hang on. In this section, there's a just static model of Fret here in a nightmare hallway. And <laughs> one of the tape heads jumps out of the wall and runs over to this corner. And there's another tape head right here just running in place. There's another one here. It does a scare and then it runs over. It's like, what the heck? But anyway, let's get into the game and I have a few things that I want to show you. Let's watch him come out of the uh, guitar case. This is an interesting one. Whoop. <laughs> Where am I? No head. Boom. He pops back in and then gone. So that's, that's the sequence of events for the intro there. Let's turn on full bright mode. So this removes all of the camera effects, all the lens effects, all of the distortions. It makes everything full bright. Um, that way you guys can see better. We're not going to interact with anything. I'm just going to speed run this. There's also a backpack that I missed in the, uh, hallway, or in the nightmare hallway. Step. Oh, you did, did you? Where would you even send him in this town? I told you, he's not here! I don't believe you. I know he's Oh, that here. looks weird without You're the post-processing effects. Weird! Los Angeles, California, 1858. I don't know what that the rest of that's supposed to say. Look, kind of looks like the conductor's outfit, maybe. So let's look closer at the missing innocent here. Um, the animation of her going through the vent. She It looks like she's just going into a black void, but actually she's passing through a black box, like a black plane right outside of that. So let's step through the animation. Yeah, so... And the eyes are actually sewn buttons, which is really cool. So she pops out, stops there, and then disappears. So without all the post-processing effects, you can actually see everything on the other side. And that there is the red door. Oh, interesting. It stops loading stuff behind you. This can't be happening. Okay, so you don't act... In, in order to do a, a speed run, you don't actually have to go in there, but there is some interesting animation stuff in there. Um, if you're interested in seeing that, I can definitely go in there in a different episode or whatever, but... Uh, it's also not necessary to get these. There's a whole lot of unnecessary stuff for actually finishing the thing. Hey, hello. Let's do this. Um. And look at this whole series of events without post-processing on. This is going to look interesting. I've never seen this before. What I don't like is this camera motion makes it look like Brett is like climbing over the desk to look at the scene. I don't know. I've I've heard some people who have played this who either don't like that the camera does that motion or they do like it and it's more cinematic or what. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I don't really like it that much. 
Uh, and the next thing I'm going to do is make my battery infinite. Hang on. Yeah, so that should stay on now without... Yeah. There we go. Let's go do the other thing real quick. And now I can do this infinitely as well. With that zoom effect. Oof. Uh-huh. Yeah, I hear you. Okay. What I didn't notice last time is there is this here, journal number six, run, 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 journal of fret. I didn't notice that one before. There's also a, a rose on here and with the phone number to call. Okay, anyway, so there is a tiny T-posing tape head just right there. We'll take a closer look at that in just a second. When I go to look at there's a different thing that I want to look at as well. Hey, hello. And in Jake's, there's a, a tiny static model of Fret. And something interesting is going to happen here. Um, there's actually three separate uh, tape head models. One was the tiny one in Oreo's locker. There's going to be one right here, which I'm going to pause it on. There we go. Okay. I'm going to pause it right there. We're going to go take a look at something real interesting outside of the map. So what you saw in the hallway, the main hallway as you exit, is the second model. And this is the third model. <laughs> and it is in time with the animation for the one in the nightmare hallway. See? So if I pause and unpause, you can see that. Why is it tied to this? I, I've talked about this particular locker door in a previous one. I don't know why it was here, but now I know why. Because there's a second animated model, uh, animated actor tied to that locker door for some freaking reason i have no idea why so yeah there's a tiny f static fret model inside of jake's locker here's the t-posing tape head <laughs> just just chilling out in in oreo's locker oh one more thing through the lobby door is nothing <laughs> it's just a static hallway Oh, and the, the debris that flies through there is all tapes, red, yellow, green of, like, uh, stoplight colors. There's, like, maybe one or two greens. Most, most of them are yellow and red. I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, let's play through the end of the animation. Oop. And then it loops, and then it sends you back to the main menu. Anyway, that's that's the last of the stuff that I found in this version of the demo. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you like my hacking videos, there's a whole playlist of hacking videos right here. That's going to be it for this one. I'll see you guys next time.